it's a question of how you interpret what the taunting is. But if I if you if I run you over and I spin the ball right at you, they're going to call that as taunting. That's just ridiculous. But see, that's the thing. Like I get it. If you run a guy over, you stand over him and shout in his face. I get that. But there was the touchdown that was called back on the Chargers for whatever the hell stupid penalty that I don't even think was a penalty. Um, it was holding it. No, that was another touchdown. They had two called back. They had two called back. I the know. other one, I they Lynn thought was that team. it was, <laughs> I forget what it was. It, break. was. it was movement at the, at, the, at the line of scrimmage. But what it looked like they were calling was taunting because when, it might have been Eckler, I forget, when he goes over the end zone, over the, over the goal line, he gets up and just spins the ball. And the flag came right mm-hmm. out. But they didn't call it. They called something else. But it's like, if that's what they're calling, is that yeah, really I, don't, I, I don't think they would call that if you score a touchdown. Touchdown. You uh, that flag was thrown right at the player. I know, but if you It was are, illegal shift. That was what they is called Is that what it was? Sure. I See, love the taunting calls. That they I, call these guys for taunting. It's I agree stupid. when it's really taunting. It. Right, well, mm-hmm. the, the one, uh, I think it was the Charger game, the, the guy was right in his face after he scored right. a touchdown. That's yes. taunting. Sorry. We which know one, though? I don't remember which one, but... They call taunting for it, as it should. You can't, that's well, what that taunting might have been is. I think, well, I think, first of all, I think fans are sick and tired of a guy who makes a first down getting up. And, are they, though? I don't I, know I, about I, that. I, I kind of feel like, you know, stop celebrating. Just You're doing what you're getting paid to do. Just go back to the huddle and go. And then when you score a touchdown, celebrate all you want. I think the owners are sick of it. I think when John Maris said that we're sick of it, I think he's talking about the owners. I don't really know if fans. I mean, Al doesn't like it, but get off my lawn. He doesn't like it. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I never, none of my friends complain about talking. Well, Nobody guys, cares. Do you guys, do you mind bat flipping? No. No, I love Love that. it, actually. Yeah. Do you, do you mind when a, a NBA player goes up and jams it and hangs on the rim? I don't. Yeah, no, That's that, the shack that effect. I love yeah. that. So you don't mind getting up and having the ball spun in your face? Um... <laughs> I don't. I don't like again. I don't want to be stood over and yelled at. That I hundred percent should Why? be called. Because that's disrespectful. I don't think a guy scores a touchdown. He celebrates so good. If it's fine, no issue with that. Right. There's this old clip of Bill Belichick talking to his team, going, "You should want to celebrate after you make a big play. All the work you put into it, you should be excited. If you're not excited, then there's something wrong with you." Hey, and he sitting was- home on the couch or watching the game on TV is completely different than being in the uniform oh, sure. on the field and going head to you know toe to toe, head to head against somebody else who's trying to take your head off. There, there's Agreed. a different level of intensity that you're you're playing at, and that's one of the reasons why the guys act the way they do. 